guys, it's Saturday and I'm Phoebe. Welcome back to Days of What. For this week, what we're doing is recommending you guys books and movies that we like and hopefully that you guys like as well. So, um, I picked two books and one movie to share with you guys. My first book is called Once It's Not Enough by Jacqueline Suzanne. I like this book because it is ridiculous in so many ways. It's set in 60s New York and it's just so over the top about a lot of things. It's, it mainly focuses on um, a big movie um, producer and director, I think, um, and his daughter. Um, he's very rich, he's trying to make a comeback, and there's lots of things going on there. It has everything from, you know, millionaires to billionaires to going out and getting steaks in the middle of the night, because apparently that's what you do when you're rich, and going out to bars all night, and big lesbian affairs and World War II memories and it just it's fabulous it's ridiculous and it always puts me in a good mood uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it she also wrote one of my other on a serious note my next book is by A.S. Bryant and it's called uh, Bryant and it's called the children's book um this book is long and it's very um detailed and so precise and it's it covers a family from um, I believe it's before World War One until almost the start of World War Two, and it's just incredible. Her writing is just so meticulous and so um, beautiful, and just you get into the mind of every single character. And there are a lot of characters, and there's so much going on. And you know, you go all over the world. You start in England, you know, in this big manor house, and you end up in Germany in some little um, puppeteer shop. And it's just like, how did you get there? Like, it's just it's fabulous. It starts off. Um, with a, a boy who is um, hiding out in the um, Victoria and Albert Museum and he's discovered by this family and taken in and he kind of learns about them and just about all the craziness that's going on and you know these old English families just have so much going on and it's just it's a fabulous book I love um, I love well, I love history and particularly um, England between the wars is my favorite but kind of seeing the family start you know, before World War One, and just go on until almost World War Two. And the thing that is so, um, that really draws me about these kinds of books, um, those that happened before World War One, before World War Two, is just this um, underwhelming, uh, overwhelming sense of this underlying tragedy. Um, you know, all these people's lives are so focused on themselves, and you know that soon it's just going to be moved to something so much bigger than them. And you know, all these young men are probably going to die at some point. Um, you know, horribly in the war. I don't know, it's just something about that gets to me. And it's the same way when, you know, uh, when I watch uh, a Bright Side Revisited or read Bright Side Revisited or Howard's End or something like that, it's just like, you know, you just like, you can't help but think, you know, a couple years and this is all going to kind of come crashing down. And I think the British aristocracy in particular illustrates this between World War One and World War Two because after World War II there was just no way they could come back in the way they came back after World War I. Oh, so after that digression, um, the, the movie that I'm going to recommend you guys is called Adulthood and it is about, um, it's about um, British uh, gangsters in London, um, young youth, not gangsters, but just troubled youth in London and um, it's just so intense. I remember I watched it like in the dark, like with my headphones on, I was just sitting at my computer like, oh my god, because it's just so intense and so well done, and um, it has a brilliant soundtrack. I personally am a big fan of um, English um, rap, Dizzy Rascal, Tinchy Strider, that kind of stuff. Um, it's just, I love it. There's so much sadness in it, and it's just a great movie. I liked it so much, and I watched the sequel, and it was just as good. Um, I have gone over the time limit talking about English aristocracy and um, troubled youth in England, but I highly recommend Jacqueline Suzanne, the children's book, and ad um, adulthood, and adulthood if you're interested. Um, all great books, all great movies. So I hope you enjoyed this movie. Um, I will see you guys next week. Enjoy Days of What. Bye.